hey guys welcome back to yet another diy project whereby we'll be reusing this used cut tile if you're interested keep on watching first of all i started by covering the cut tile on the top part using a plyboard i had this plyboard cut into the same diameter as that of the cut tile so i had to balance the ply board on top before proceeding to the next part by the help of the tape measure, it helped me align the plyboard on the middle part of the car tire. So I had to balance it so it is perfectly distributed. Once I was done, I went ahead to secure the plyboard onto the car tire using some hot glue. The essence of hot glue is just to help the board to stay in place while adding the screws. After that, I went ahead and added the screws onto the plyboard. I had to use a drill gun on these parts. For those who are joining this channel for the first time, you're welcome so much. My name is Roxy Nimiz. I normally do simple home deco DIYs, which involve more of recycling. If you're interested in seeing more of recycling projects, please stay tuned in this YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. Feel welcome in this YouTube channel. After securing the plyboard, I went ahead and overturned it. As you can see, it's very strong. Uh, the screws held the plyboard well onto the car tire. I overturned onto the other side and did the same thing as I did on the lower side. I placed the plyboard, made sure it aligned perfectly on the middle part so that it flashes with the plyboard on the lower part. To cover the sides of the car tire, I had to use an asbestos plastic sheet. So this is plastic like and it easily it just bend like a paper. So I had to use this because it's waterproof to cover the side of the car tire. One thing I loved about this asbestos paper, it was easily to bend, it's flexible and also you could use a pair of scissors just to cut it. So instead of using cardboard i preferred using this one i proceeded to the next part which was decorating the asbestos paper so first of all i had to take the measurements so i'll put the measurement of the asbestos paper so i had it cut into the measurement that i wanted for my project but you can use an exacto knife to just cut it through it's easy i used some straws they are drinking straws to decorate the sides of the car tire and also a gold strip which I had to take the measurement first so as to know the right place to place it onto the asbestos paper. Once I was done I proceeded to mark in the plastic sheet all through so as to get the right measurement or the right place to place the gold trim first. On to my returning subscribers, I would love to say thank you so much guys for coming back to watch more of my videos. Please if you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe so that you can be getting notifications of my other DIYs project. I would love to say thank you for your support through watching my videos and also sharing them with your friends and family. Thank you so much. The height that is the width of the plastic sheet was 25.5 centimeters and the length was to 40 centimeters so as to get the right position whereby the plastic or the gold trim seated on I had to subtract the width of the gold trim from the width of the ABC paper or the asbestos paper and then the remaining part I had to divide it by two because since I'll be decorating the lower part and the upper part once I had placed the gold trim. After making the points, I proceeded by taking my ruler to join in the points so as to make a straight line. The straight line guided me on how to place the gold trim perfectly so that it can be distributed or it can be distributed on the middle part of the ABS paper.
I then proceeded to the next part which was placing the gold trim onto the middle part of the ABS paper. I had to use a self-adhesive gold trim on this part so as to make it easier to glue it down onto the asbestos paper. The line guided me on placing the gold trim on a straight line onto the plastic sheet. If you're interested in such gold trim, I'll put the contact in the description box of where you can get such. The plastic sheet was so long so I had to take time to place the gold trim by following the line that I had drawn earlier. Once I was done, I went ahead and cut off the excess part using a pair of scissors. After adding the gold trim on the middle part of the ABS paper, I had to make sure the upper part and the lower part are of the same dimensions. To proceed on to the next part was decorating the other remaining part on the asbestos paper. And this part I had to use these drinking straws. I had to use this black one specifically because they are a bit firm compared to the other plastic straws. So I had to cut them into the measurements that I needed on the upper part and also on the lower part. By doing so I had to take a pair of scissors and try to trim down the straws into the measurements of the remaining part of the asbestos paper. I had to cut down like four packets for this project so that they could fit in perfectly onto the ABS paper. And to glue them down, I had to use my hot glue gun to glue the plastic straws onto the plastic sheets one at a time. So first of all, I had to make sure the first straw flashes perfectly with the ABS paper so as to give me a right angle position. And after doing that, I proceeded to glue down the other straws one at a time. Actually, this was the favorite part of this project, gluing down the straws all round. You can do this while watching Netflix or maybe listening to music because it's really fun. And also it takes time because you had to glue down those straws all through and the asbestos paper was eight feet long so it took a time to glue them down you can use uh, other colors for the drinking straws but i had preferred to use a black color since the coffee table that i was making i wanted it to be in black in color so that's why i had to choose the black straws but you can also use clear ones and spray paint them or maybe you can just use another color that you prefer for the coffee table. As I told you guys, it was a process gluing down the straws one at a time but I really enjoyed it. So you can just engage your kids in doing this part. You can ask them for assistance to glue the straws down one at a time. For those who are interested in these straws, I'll put the contact also in the description box of where you can get them. After gluing down the lower row, I went ahead and did the same thing on the upper row. I had to glue down the drinking straws again one at a time all through the asbestos paper. After gluing down the straws all round, this is how the ABS paper looked and I really loved how it was turning out. While gluing down the plastic straws onto the plastic sheet, I noted that you are supposed to regulate the heat temperature of the hot glue because this is plastic and once you use a hot glue or high temperatures it tends to burn the straws. I then proceeded to the next part which was gluing down the plastic sheet all around the car tire. So I had to place it first and make sure it flashes perfectly with the plyboard on top 
before gluing it down. I also had to use hot glue to glue down the plastic sheet onto the plywood. I had to glue the PVC all round using the hot glue. As you could notice there was a small space which was left onto the asbestos papers, just the design that I needed for this coffee table. That's why I had to leave a small protruding onto the top part as I had said earlier please note don't use a lot of heat on this part because it will burn the plastic sheet once I was done I went ahead and cut off the excess part using a pair of scissors as you all know the aftermaths of using hot glue it's having some glue strings so I had to get rid of the glue strings using a shoe brush you can also use a toothbrush to get rid of the small glue strings that which you cannot hold with your hands also if you have a blow dry to be easy you can just blow off the glue strings and they'll just melt off as i had said earlier there was a small gap in which was left or the small space which was left on the upper side of the coffee table and it was white in color so i had to spray it black so as to match the straws and i used a uh, black matte paint and i really wanted to see how black matte paint would look on my straws so i ended up spraying the straws as well but it is not a must to spray the straws since it's black just as i said earlier i needed to make a black coffee table that's why i preferred using the black straws so i had to just give it uh, two coats of black matte paint all around to add more beauty on to this fluted coffee table, I had to use some furniture legs. Uh, I'll also put the contacts in the description box if you're interested with such furniture legs. So I had to place them onto the lines that I had drawn earlier. And to secure the furniture legs onto the lower part of the coffee table, I used some screws to secure them. So I had to use my drill gun to add the screws onto the lower part of the coffee table. There are different types of furniture legs. So for this project, I had to use this type. I really loved how they look, the carved shape. If you've seen my previous video whereby I made a, a coffee table or a fluted coffee table, I used a different type of furniture legs, but it turned out perfectly. So, as I said earlier, I'll put the contact of where you can get this. On the top part of the coffee table, I had to place a glass. So, I had to use silicone glue to secure the glass onto the top part. I used uh, black silicone glue because since this is what I had at home. But you can use a clear one because mostly they are available in clear. And also, you can use a black one. It just depends on your location or also what you can get at your local hardware. So I had to add the glue all round so as to make sure the glass is held well on top of the coffee table. I then proceeded to place in the black glass. So for this black glass, as you know from the previous project, I normally make them using clear glass and then I spray them on the back side or one side. After placing the glass, I noted that the glass wasn't getting on the inner part of the coffee table. This got me worried because I had to remove the asbestos paper on the upper part so as to make sure the glass fits in perfectly. So this was me removing the asbestos paper all round to give space to the glass. So I noted for this part I had to glue down the glass first before anything else. So. If you would love to redo this project, you can just glue down the glass first and then you can glue down the asbestos paper later. But for those who would love to cover the straws, because for my, for my project I didn't cover the straws, you can just first of all make the whole coffee table and then take the measurements of the whole diameter of the whole coffee table so as to get the glass that will cover the whole part, that is the straws plus the plywood
I really wanted to cover the opening part of the straws using this gold bead but it was really hard to glue them down. I really tried gluing the beads one at a time but since the opening of the straws was a bit bigger compared to the beads that's why it got really hard for the glue to stick the bead onto the top part of the straws so I just gave up but I would really love to get opinion from you guys what can I use to cover the opening part of the straws Once I was done, I went ahead to clean down the glass top. I had to use a wet wipe to clean down the glass top at first before drying it down with something dry. So I just had to scrub off the hot glue onto the sides and then went ahead to remove the protective film onto the gold trim. So I, as you could see earlier, I had sprayed the, the straws and lucky enough these gold trims normally come with a protective film so it didn't get the paint for the fluted part you can use skewers as well if you can get thicker skewers this size it can really work perfectly here in kenya getting thick skewers is a bit tricky and also they are so expensive compared to the drinking straws that's why i preferred using the drinking straws and finally guys this is the end look of our beautiful coffee table just from a car tire and some drinking straws we have ended up having this beautiful piece of fluted coffee table let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple transformation from a car tire into a beautiful coffee table i just love how the gold and the black are really blending in and that's why i preferred using this for my project the previous project i used a white and gold whereby i transformed a car tire into a fluted coffee table if you haven't watched that video i'll put the video at the end screen go watch how i transformed a car tire into a beautiful and looking coffee table this is just a simple diy of whereby you can turn some waste into something reusable at home and since i wasn't using that car tire i that way i transformed it into this beautiful coffee table i just love how it looks if you really love this video please don't forget to give me a fat thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to watch more of my videos please go at the end screen i'll put more of my videos at the end screen and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to watch more of my diys and don't forget that notification bell so as to notify you whenever i post a new video thank you so much guys for watching bye bye see you next time for a new diy